Good afternoon. I'm Brian May in the State Operations Center at Cal OES headquarters just outside Sacramento. And we just wanted to give you an update on the Thomas fire, the anticipated red flag warning conditions all across the state of California, once again, causing very dangerous firefighting conditions today. The Thomas fire, now the third largest fire in California history. And size wise, I just want to give you a perspective. If you talk west to east, it is 40 miles across 20 miles north to south. Again, third largest fire now in California history, some 260,000 acres. I'm going to break down the numbers for you and let you know just what's happening with this fire. As of Saturday afternoon, 8,400 firefighters working on this fire, 260,000 acres roughly. That's the area of 400 square miles. If this fire were a city in California, it'd be the second largest city in the state, second only behind Los Angeles. And destructive-wise, it is now the seventh most destructive fire in California history. Already we've seen 1,000 structures destroyed. But if you look at the red flag conditions, the winds, and the very low humidity, 18,000 structures threatened on this Saturday, which is leading to thousands of evacuations happening in and around Santa Barbara, in and around the Montecito area as well. We've got almost 1,000 fire engines working this fire. And sadly, as you see, this fire has been deadly. One Cal Fire firefighter losing his life fighting the Thomas Fire earlier this week. Evacuation orders, as we mentioned, are happening on this Saturday. Please monitor your local emergency officials. Keep your cell phones charged on and have those alerts ready to go. So if the signal comes in, you and your family can leave. Have that go to go kit ready to go as well. We've got all the information on all the wildfires in California on our website, wildfirerecovery.org.